We got one on the board. A little channel cat. Was he using chicken liver? Yep. Yep, chicken liver. Yay! Alright, let's get back at it and hopefully we'll catch some more. Second one for my dad. Oh. Done it. One in your line. One in your Ooh, line. That's a nice oh. one. Let's see if we see him. That thing's <laughs> fighting. Oh, that's a nice one. I think that's probably the biggest one we ever caught out of here. Oh, and he's flipping it up. <laughs> that's the biggest one we caught over here. That's a nice one. About a pound. That's, that's number two for dad. Ah, oh, I lost him. I had a good bite. My line went clear over there. Well, that stinks. That was one to miss. There's another one. <laughs> the little tiny guy. That's my little brother Bryce. That's the second one of the day. We just started filming, and he has two of them. There you go, Bryce. Cast back out there and get another one. Guys, today we're using chicken liver, catch some catfish, and we're just using these little. Well, I'm just using these little bass hooks like for worms and stuff and we're just hooking it through like that and that's what they've been catching them on so i'll see you guys when we catch another one hooked up again is this your fourth one oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my dad's over here kept the drag loose bring them in oh dude that was a 15 pound flatty <laughs> In his dreams, he wishes. <laughs> My sister's hooked up this time. She's trying to bring him in. Keep your pole tension on it. Dude, that's a nice one. Hey, get up there, Kenzie. Get up there closer to the, closer to the I didn't think about bringing a net. net. Yeah. No. We didn't think that about it. Daddy, Ooh, that is a nice one. How are we gonna get it? That's a nice channel cut right there. That. Hold on, Kenzie. Hang on, hang on. Be easy. Yeah, get those leaves and stuff out of the way. Okay. Maybe that's the biggest one we ever caught. Here, Kenzie, do me get him up here, Kenzie? Bring him up here, Dad. Oh, fast, fast, fast. There we go. Hey. <laughs> They're getting bigger. They are getting bigger. They're nice. Look, that's... it's got blue on it. I think that might be the biggest one we ever caught. Well, Kenzie's on the board with one. By your pole. Yee yee, guys. Yee yee. Johnny got one. Whoa. Look at those head shakes, man. Whoa. Oh, that is a nice one. Bring it in, Johnny Bob. Good ones, guys. Wow. Bring them up. That's the biggest. There we go, Johnny. That's probably the biggest catfish you ever caught. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. <laughs> Johnny's PB? Oh. That's awesome. I found oh. my PB. I think that one was. Oh, we'd be having a day. Here's Brayden. Yeah. Howdy, folks. Everybody yeah, here's my mom. She hasn't caught one yet, but she needs to catch one. Either. Yeah, Brayden hasn't caught one. I caught one, but I didn't have it on camera. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Chunk, that's what it is. Brayden, don't be cussing. Now. <laughs> I'm just messing. And everybody, I got my family with me here. This is my dad getting Johnny his picture of his little catfish. And here's Katie. We're out here fishing these little public ponds and it's like stocked full of like little catfish and stuff. And we're having a heyday on them. And right now, I just got two poles out there. We're using chicken liver as bait. Yeah, you can tell I'm real organized, but um, but we're doing good. We're catching a lot. We got a good fishing trip is when everybody catch one. So I'm gonna get this pull out there more. I set it down. Johnny had that fish and I was like, I gotta film it. So I'll catch you guys whenever we get another one. The big bite, if you guys can see it, I don't know. Let's see if he'll take it. I just got the bobber kind of real sh like shallow up. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's moving pretty good. Duke, come here Duke. 
Hey Dick, what are you doing, man? Alright. Oh. See if you take it. And yes, you're probably saying, man, you using that big of a setup for these little fish? Well, I had it on Bobber, and that's the only thing I have it set on. So, we're gonna see if we can try to get this fish in. If it's a fish, there's been some turtles swimming around, but don't know until we get it. But it looks like he's done biting at it. So I'll get with you guys if anything gets hooked up on it. Well, now he's starting to bite again. Just waiting for that. Waiting for that good hit. And when that good hit hits, I'm going to set the hook and hopefully be reeling in the giant. You never know. Like I said again, we're just fishing um, at a public pond. Um, it's like, hey, there's two of them. There's like, it goes over there and it's connected to another one. I don't know if you guys can tell. But over there, there's another one. We might try that spot here in a little bit. But we're catching fish. And when you catch fish, you don't leave that area until you stop catching fish. You know what I mean? All right, well, I don't know what this fish is doing, but I'll get with you guys if I end up catching it or not. Katie's hooked up on one. This is her first one of the day. Oh. Boom. Channel cat. And what we're using is just chicken liver. And chicken liver is always a good fish. There's one for you. Finally, my first catfish in like years. <laughs> a long time. That's cool. Well, we just broke your streaks of years of not catching one. So that's a plus. Boom. You missed one? So you're, we're getting a lot of action today. A lot. I missed all guys. Ah, oh, I missed them. Darn it. My line was going good. Well, that stinks. Oh. Ah, oh, Katie just missed one too. Man, we're getting action, but what happened? Oh, what happened? I'm guessing I reeled it in too tight. Ooh, Listen, and it's still there. It's an ugly stick. It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> well, I guess we missed one. Brayden about broke his pole. You want to fish with this thing? Yeah, fish with it until it breaks. I mean, just full sander. It's just a little bit flimsy. <laughs> a little bit. I'm gonna fish between you and Katie. Hey, you got more of a what is it like? How do they say it? Yeah, more action and like more sensitivity to your rod. You'd be able to see yeah, that so tip going boom, boom. Like... Yeah, just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, me and Katie missed one, so that stinks, but we're going to go back at it. Yeah. Katie missed it. Oh my goodness. Her pole about went in the water. Yeah, that's what I did the first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like my poles are not in the water. Ooh, ooh. It's actually a nice one. He's fighting pretty good. Oh, dude. That's a pretty nice one. Oh, let's bring him up in here. Oh. That's the biggest one for me today. Of course, I cut bigger, but... Because I probably think, like, man, these things ain't that big. But hey, it's been a while since I caught a catfish. What was that? Here we go. This is my second one. Oh, he's talking. He's a talker. Nice little channel cat. Back in the water he goes. Boom! Another bite. See if, see if he's on. Nope, missed him. I missed him. But it's so crazy, it's like... Sometimes it's as soon as you cast it out there. Other time it's like every now and then. But I just got a little bit piece on. I'm just gonna keep that out there. Cause it's chicken liver, it stinks. Try to rehook it so it doesn't fall off. Easy. We're just gonna cast it out there and hopefully again and gonna see if a bass would I mean how bad. <laughs> a catfish would eat it. Brain getting bite? Like we ain't catching super far. Cast it over there on the broken rod. Man, you catch a little half pounder, it'd probably break it. What do you think about this, Braden? <laughs> You're breaking your old rod, and look, now you stuck on there. 
It's just all over the place today. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but Braden's getting a little bit. He's going to feel it. He might be rushing. Who knows? Anything? Nope, nothing. Jump the gun. Get happy there for a second. I'm a professional. Got you, Johnny. All right, I think I was getting a bite. I don't know. The line was going up pretty good. Thought we'll don't want to miss it. Might as well have it on camera. We're just gonna sit and see what happens. Um, bite kind of went down a little bit, but like I said, we caught quite a bit today. Well, I guess I'll get back to you if I get it. But my line was moving a tad bit, so I'll see you guys later. Solid hit. We're gonna see if maybe she can hook up on one. This might be our last fish. I don't know. And it's getting a good bites. She's getting steady bites. So hopefully it'll commit and take off with it. It's kind of stuck on the leaves. The line is over there. Ooh. Those are some good hits, Katie. Alright, I might try to know nah, how late. I like to know the fish are on. I don't know if you guys have not seen the line. Okay. Oh yeah, Katie, Katie. Get ready. He's liking it, he's tasting it. Yeah. Duke. Duke, don't eat our bait. Duke, come out here. Duke. Let me go get Duke real fast. Duke, what are you doing? Trying to eat your two there? I get it's good, but you want to eat our chicken liver. Yeah, buddy. Let's go back to Katie. She's getting some action. Katie, if you land this fish, what are you going to name it? Uh, Patrick. Patrick? I don't know, Patrick. But here, stop biting. But eat that hook. Brayden, if you caught the fish, what would you name it? Larry. Larry? Larry better eat brain fish. Oh, sorry, asking. Brad, what's yours? I'll leave that up to you guys. You guys comment down below. <laughs> if I catch a catfish, what should we name it? Well, I'll get back with you guys until Katie actually hooks up on it. I don't know. It's getting close. It's, it keeps biting, nibbling at it. He's at it again. He was quick for a little bit, but we're going to keep my mouth shut so we got to have it. I'll just get back with you guys when she's hooked up. All right, guys, we're leaving from fishing. We ended up being a slow run, but um, sorry about that. That's my sister. She's scared of frogs and stuff. But um, <clears throat> we ended up catching quite a bit. I know um, I caught two of them. Um, Johnny caught two, which is my smallest brother. My sister caught one. My dad caught four, and Bryson caught two. So and then Katie. Um, she caught one so it was a good day not everybody caught one my Braden and my mom didn't catch one these Braden's walking down now and if you can see them but we're going to go shoot our boat for a little bit I'm pretty sure and we're going to probably catch you guys there when we get there all right We got done um, fishing. We had a really fun time. We caught quite a bit of them. Except for me. Yeah, except for Braden. Braden didn't catch one. But we're at this bow range and we're going to be shooting our bow. And um, let me show you guys our bow. We found it on a yard sale. It's only for 50 bucks. And I was like, Dude, that's awesome. So it's a little, it has like some stuff to it, but I'll show you. So we got these arrows. We bought them at Walmart. They're cheap. We might. And we we, it looks points. like we have four arrows, but we only got one. 
only the other one's the flexions are broken. that one's messed up right there, and the other ones are missing flexions. So we only shooting one, you're like thinking like, how are you gonna like sight and aim with one arrow? Well really, we're just shooting it. Because we want to. So, so here's the bow itself. It melted a little bit in the yard sale as a stabilizer. So go, so now. And um, here it is. It's a Martin Mad Cat Edition. Oh no, it turned off. Does it turn off? Yeah, yeah. Oh. The Mag Edition. It's a Martin Magnum. And it's a Mad Cat Edition. It's nice. And um, it has a whisker biscuit thingy. I don't know what you call that. But I guess I said it right. I don't know. So we're going to go sleep some arrows. And I'll catch you guys at the range. Alright guys, I'm about to shoot it. And like in our other video, we were missing this thingy for our peep sight. Yeah, now we got it, yard. so we don't got it fixed. So, we're going to sling one arrow. As you tell, you like, Brad, there's nothing on it. But I'm just going to sling an arrow at it. We're actually going to be messing with the poundage on this thing. I have no clue what it's on, so we're just going to do it until we can't pull any more. If we can't pull any more, then we're going to lash it down a little bit. I'm going to sling one arrow. Boom. You got one air slung. And this target doesn't even have anything. Yeah, this doesn't even have anything. Is that where you was aiming? Let's say yeah. Okay. Get grief. So it went in decent. I'm good enough. Alright, and we're gonna shoot a couple times, probably mess with the poundage on it. And we're probably gonna have to somehow rig something up. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we just fling out an empty box. You can take like your mark on me or something. You can just take your shirt off and then just <laughs> yeah, just put use it on my there. shirt. Yeah. Oh, my dad's smart. He's gonna do something. All right, that's a heart. Yeah, that's it's it's a really tiny heart. Thin heart. But hey, if we hit that, then I'll call it. I'm <laughs> gonna try to shoot and hit that leaf. We're about ten yards away. I don't know if I said that, but if I didn't, we're about ten yards away. Shot a little bit high. Well, like again, it wasn't too too high, but it is what it is. Now the one problem we're having with the peep sight string is that it just comes off. And we don't really know how to keep it on. I don't know if there's a way you buy like a smaller what? diameter hole or whatever. But um we don't really know why it's doing that, but we're gonna put it back on and slide on and just keep doing it. Like during deer hunting, it shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. And I don't know, we just shoot in, see if it gets better. All right, let me fling one more arrow at it from this distance. And then it's my turn to shoot it from that distance. I wanna get a feel of it. To the left or right? Yeah, to the right a little bit. Did that come off again? No. You think if we? I shoved it up on there. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think they put hot glue on them. Do they? Oh. Yeah, we might have to put some hot glue on there. We should have hot glue, shouldn't we? Yeah. All right, here. Let me try it. All right, Brandon's gonna shoot it. To the right. Oh, one more arrow. Right. Who, Brad? No, let's let Brad see one. On me? Put it back on me. Just to see where it's shooting. All right. You know I'm a better shooter than Brad. I'm just joking. Make sure it's on there tight, boy, so it doesn't slip off. Cause six lation. Six lation. You can loosen it if you want to. Yeah, there's supposed to be a trail that we can walk. And there's 3D targets in the wood. Yeah. He's probably saying, hey, Brad, what are you doing? My brain put it on my hand too. Much. Yeah, I put it on there too tight for him. He's a little baby. Dude, I couldn't even feel my wrist, dog. I'm <laughs> just kidding, bro. Yeah, we like to give each other's hard time. One more arrow. See, kind of the group I would have shot if I would have shot three. You guys are probably saying, that's not how you do it. You're supposed to shoot three at a time, but we only got one arrow. So, 
Just gotta deal with it. Like, it I mean, you can kind of see it on it. Like, it just shoots high, but then again, we're shooting at a little weak. Yeah. It technically hit the same spot my second one hit. So, it's shooting a little bit. Right. Right? Yeah. Let me let me fling three and see if it's the same grouping or not. All right. Next is me. I'm gonna try it with the I'm gonna try it with the GoPro on. Now you're gonna see Braden's chest view of the bow when we're shooting. Did it fall off? Oh, it fell off. Again, no, like if you guys kind of know how to. Really put those on. Hot glue, Dad said. Hot glue. Well, if there's anything other. I wonder if we got it kind of short too. Maybe it's like came coming maybe. off. Maybe. That well, way. you can maybe. Do. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. All right, let's test this out. Yeah, you ain't gonna be right away. <laughs> yeah. Here. Yeah. All right, guys. We up the poundage a little bit. Now we're gonna shoot it and see what it's gonna be shooting like. Get a break shoot now. We don't know what's gonna happen. I hit the leaf. I hit the leaf. So, did you feel any difference pulling back? Not really. Well, think about it. That's yeah. It was a little bit hard. We can probably do it a little bit more too if we wanted to. Well, you don't want to get too hard. Yeah, I hit the leaf. I hit yeah. the leaf. Yeah. No, you hit the leaf. Dude, that's tiny compared to my hand. So I think if you can about hit that leaf, that's good. There we go. Thanks. This is a good hit. I can just taking that more. Yeah. Is the pounded more? Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's kind of up a little bit still, but still, that's All right. a dead deer no matter what, though. Alright, but you want to get it centered. Centered. Alright, we'll get the tools out. I'm going to shoot it one more time, see if I get the same result. Oh, yeah, you can feel it now. Oops. Good grief. Yep. Yeah, just move it down. Down to the... You copied me. Or up to the right. Are we, are we following the arrow? Yeah, I think we follow the arrow, right? Look at my phone. Do we follow an arrow? You guys, do you know if we follow the arrow, come to sight and end? I don't know. This is going to be the end of the video. We ended up running out of daylight with our bow. And... We're having difficulties. It's kind of hard to sight a bow in with only one arrow. Well, if you guys have been watching our shorts with the latest video, you guys would know that we have a pet bass and a little bluegill. Well, I'm going to show you guys if you guys never did watch it. So, I'm pretty sure it's a largemouth bass that's right there. And he's just a little guy. I haven't caught him. He's probably like only two inches. He's been eating good. We've been feeding him crickets and worms. He, he mainly eats the worms, not so much as the crickets. And then the little bluegill guy we got, um, we don't really have good names for him yet. I think we're naming the bluegill Bruce, because when he gets big, we call him Big Bruce or something. I don't know. I don't know, though. But uh, he also eats the worms and crickets, but he's pretty good at eating the crickets. He's the one that known for crickets. And it looks like they're trying to get something up there, but I don't think there's nothing up there. They might eat, I just fed them a little bit ago, but I'll actually show you those clips right now of them eating a little bit ago. And it's pretty cool watching them eat, knowing that these are fish that you can catch out in the wild. And they were both of them caught out of the wild, out of the lake. And we're gonna raise them up and try to get them big and hopefully put them in our pond. Well, like I said, it's gonna be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check out Katie's channel, which she helped out a lot today because we used her GoPro when we we're fishing. And hopefully I video it again because that's the first time I used a GoPro. 
you know, if you guys see anything we've done wrong, shooting the bow or something like that, or anything at all, just tell us. Don't gotta be mean about it though. You know, just tell us polite. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Adios.